Okay, so hello everybody. Hello Valeria. We are here in Negotiation in Action in order to talk with Valeria about Valeria's from Brazil and we're going to talk about her experiences and how she's experiencing and dealing with the current challenges using negotiation. So Valeria, if you could please introduce yourself for us. Hi, it's a pleasure to be here with you. Uh, I'm Valeria. I'm from Curitiba, Brazil. I'm a lawyer and mediator and working with negotiation in many ways, especially in this pandemic time. Awesome. Great. So first question would be, how are you dealing with these challenging times and specifically with your clients? How are they facing these challenging times about COVID and everything? Well, here in Brazil, many people say we started worrying about it a little late. So uh, at this point, we have many changes uh, in, in different areas and the law is changing every day and trying to organize things and organize contracts and companies and employees and the, the, the uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, the relations between employees and employers and the companies, how are they dealing with it? And everybody's a little nervous. I think everybody is, is, is taking action before thinking about it. The, this is the main point I've been, I've been hearing and dealing with. People need someone to help them stop and think before they do things. Today, I, I was talking to a lawyer that asked me, my client just received a letter telling her that the client will not pay. And she wants to do the same thing with her clients. And I say, okay. And then they do that with their clients and so on. So it's not the solution. The solution is stop and think. Then we Perfect. can plan something for the future. We have to have in mind that it's going to be over, hopefully soon, but in 30, 60, 90 days, whatever. We have to think that we are going to be something from then on. So this is the hardest part, to think before do something. Great. And then... This connects a lot with uh, preparing and organizing the actions. So how would you connect those challenges with negotiation? How do you see negotiation as a tool for dealing with those, cha those challenging times we are living? Here in Curitiba, a great deal of difficulty is to get to lawyers so they understand that they are not able to do that by themselves. Uh, this, this Third party help is, is a little difficult for them to understand that we are not competing with their jobs. So uh, they are also starting to learn that we are here to help and we are here to design the solution with them. And the main thing I think it's important is for people to really make the pros and cons list. What do I have to do? What can I postpone? How can I work with this? How can I negotiate that? So in order to, to find the best solution to go on after this crisis, um, uh, people have to think that they do need to write down uh, how much would I have to receive? How much do I have to pay? And how am I going to make these two lists condense in one? in order to survive in all different ways, at home, with school, with homeschooling, with the, the, the extra activities like swimming lessons, ballet lessons, in the market, how am I gonna make my shopping list, uh, my, my grocery list, and uh, the priorities I have to pay, what do I have to actually pay in full? What can I negotiate with the, the clients and everything? Great. So yeah, when I hear you say, uh, it comes to my mind that 
really what's in check now, what's needed now, it's this preparation. So people can prepare and preparation is the upfront need of any negotiation. So what I'm sensing is it's very important to bring this negotiate, sorry, the, the preparation and what you mentioned about prioritizing. So you can prioritize what is essential and organize your debts and the incomes uh, that are available for organizing the financial life. So it would be more than a specific negotiation. I could sense more on negotiation as our needs now for organizing our own lives as well, right? Yes, uh, uh, companies are not really different from your day-to-day -day life. You know, your house is your small co is your small company, your small business, your first business. You, know, you have to pay the light bill, the water bill, the rent, or whatever you have to pay, and eventually your help. And then after, uh, besides that, you have uh, school, you have food, you have everything you need at home. This is your first company. And everything, and this preparation applies to all business. Uh, the main thing I see now is before everything, come down. Come down and try to keep calm. Second step, let's prepare and see what, is, what do we have to face and how we're going to face it. And then we come to the money part, the negotiation part. Because if I don't know exactly how much do I owe, what am I going to negotiate? How am I going to negotiate if I don't know exactly what I need to negotiate? And that's what I see. People are already dealing with, I'm not going to pay that but they don't even know exactly what is that payment and how does it apply? Okay, this bill I can postpone, but this one is going to make a lot of difference in the future in this chain. If I have a, a client that provides me with a special, uh, a, a special product for my business, how am I not paying him? If he's a small company, he is going to, to go down. And if I don't pay him, how, how can I keep him working in order for him to keep me working after all this? Great. Because yes, if I, I don't see. think about his business, we're both going down. Definitely. You, am am yeah, I making so myself clear? Definitely. Because so we do live in pain. We are connected totally. to each other. I am a small business, but you are a small business. And if I don't pay you, you will go down. And then when we, go, we all get out of this crisis, you won't be in business to help me again. So we have to work it together. Great. Perfect. Because, yeah, th those are the, the key points if you think about negotiation is to, of course, calm down, be prepared. And then have the clear view of everything, as you mentioned. So you can actually understand better and then understand this very key point you brought for us, which is interdependence. So we are interdependent, everybody, and we are seeing that more than ever, maybe. Now, action has a chain action. So it makes all sense to think not only on your specific negotiation point, but all the repercussions that this could yeah. bring on dealing with other people. So, well, thank you a lot, Valeria. It was great, great hearing you. And it's very important to have this opportunity to organize not only our big business, but our small ones, which is our own life and our homes, which at the end of the day is what matter most. So thank you a lot for guiding us on these ways of organizing ourselves. Thank you for this opportunity to be together. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.